Okay, so we're gonna walk the trail. Snow machine's broken. When that happens, you can't be stopped. You got some pretty deep snow to walk through here. Yeah. If you thought your daily commute was bad, try this every day. <laughs> but luckily, our neighbors have packed down the trail a little bit by driving their snow machine on it. So snow machine means snowmobile for lower 48ers. Not familiar with the Alaskan lingo. <laughs> this snow is very weighty. It's heavy. It's dense. And it attaches itself to everything. And so you see all these bent trees. Usually in the summertime you see all these trees bent down and you wonder what did it. Well, this is what does it. So we, uh, we knock the snow off of them so that they're easier. So yeah. Now, if we had skis, we might try that. Yeah. I'm gonna be in front here. So this is a snowmobile track that my neighbor has made. Whoa, that one really bent over. Damn. Oh, here's one. I can show them. Which one? So, we're walking in the snow machine track, which is like this. Yeah. But, if I wasn't, if this was not here, we would be walking. It would be like this. Exactly. And this, right after about there, you're exhausted. <laughs> here. Here. Hold it for a second. Just point, just point. Yeah. Gets it out of the way so it hit you in the face and you're on the machine. Of course you always gotta watch for moose. Yes. And bears. And so you can see whatever else. Ate that, you can tell. Munch, munch, munch. And, uh, so it's actively snowing right now. It's 31 degrees, so it's not that bad. It's warm. It's a warm day, even though we got all the shit on. Just in case it gets cold, which yeah, it does. You should always be prepared in case it gets super cold. Like, but if you keep a good pace, and you don't wear yourself out, it's not so bad. Here, I'm gonna give it back to you. Here. And I can hear you. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> that got a little in my face. But yeah, we're already about halfway there. So, I'm gonna pause it for a sec. Here's an example of moose tracks. See how heavy they are? <laughs> and they kind of just go up and around all the trees and meander. Snowing a lot right now. All of me. And normally it'll just go right off you, like sugar, but this is really sticky. So it gets your clothes wet a lot more. We don't normally have a lot of this snow. Yeah, this is wet snow. This is climate change snow. <laughs> but no one really agrees with me on that, so I, won't I do. That, but, um, <clears throat> yeah, this is, uh, this is normally our trail. So. We don't always have a snow machine problem. Uh, there's some more moose tracks right there. Those are from and yesterday. You can the see they're all almost closed up yeah. from the snow falling. Exactly. Normally, we're rocketing down this thing at like 40 miles an hour. But when your snow machine has a broken part, you gotta make do somehow. A lot of people have dog sleds. Some people have skis. Some people, you know, just walk. Now, if we don't have dog sled, we don't have skis, so we're just walking. Now you have snowshoes, but you don't really need it for this. You need it for that. Yeah. Like you can just you. But regardless, what's around you? It's still beautiful. It's still very beautiful.
Yeah, and of course the phone doesn't quite grasp the scope of everything because no. it's a phone. But uh it's also important we have to be aware of moose being around because they tend to have a very short range this time of year because you saw how hard it is to walk. So a lot of the times they follow our trails because they're easier on their on their spindly legs. So this is kind of what we do. And we're just we're almost at our parking lot, so just another day. Here, I'll give it back to you. Yeah. Thanks, Jason. Wave. Ha, 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 ha.